new car, used car, right? I mean, I think we all know that once you drive a new car off a lot, it immediately goes to, on average, $6,000 in value. That's what gets lost just for driving it. But you know, there's a lot of people that say, based on the glitz and glamour and the, the appearance that I wanna have, I don't care. I wanna have that nice new car. Today, I wanna share with you an alternative, because don't get me wrong, I like nice things. In fact, I, I own lots of nice things. And yet, one of the reasons why I was financially independent by the age of 26 is because I learned how to be really wise with my money, learned when to delay gratification, and how to cut corners. And I'm gonna share with you some of those corner cutting tips right now. Cause we're gonna be What we're doing here ain't just scary. It's about to be legendary. I'm gonna put here actually on the screen a car that's probably familiar to you. This is a Tesla, a Model S. It's a beautiful car, right? And if you've driven in one of these things, I have to tell you, I love the sensation when an all electric vehicle and you hit the gas and then of course Musk has made it so futuristic because you got this massive tablet that runs all controls. So it's very simple, it's very elegant. Frankly, it looks like a car that Apple could have made. If you wanted to own that car new in 2019, it starts at, the building package, $135,000. And in, if you were to go and get the exact same looking car, but maybe with 20, 30, 40,000 miles, there's a 2017 on average that you can pick up for $85,000. Now, what's the difference? The car looks the same. At least it's the same model. One's been driven more. But the difference between eighty-five dollars and $135,000 is a delta of $50,000. And here's the question. What could you do with $50,000? Now, you've probably heard the antics like if you just didn't, you know, forewent coffee a day and saved yourself five bucks, what that could future value turn into. Let's not talk about coffee, let's talk about this car. Did you know that if you had that money invested at 12% over 30 years, that the savings on that car would yield you $1.5 million? Small things in real estate, or in wealth, or in finance, or stock market, with time, can turn into something super meaningful. And some of you are wondering, how did you get to $1.5 million? It's that 12% ROI. I want to actually show you how you can get a 12% yield or even a 15, but on average I'm doing 25%, double this. And you know what that means to the 1.5 million number? On that hockey stick curve, it becomes something significantly more. I want to share with you how I do this in the game of real estate. I'm going to talk about a good deal versus a dream home because there's a lot of people that they want to have it all right now. They want to they want to just live that lifestyle without necessarily earning it. And a lot of people are on this broken treadmill where they have to slave at their job to support their lifestyle. It's the keeping up with the Joneses. Now, I'm going to show you this is kind of a dorky image of me. I pulled the snag this from YouTube one of my earlier videos. I've got this home in the background. This is the very first house that I ever purchased. And at the time that I bought this home, a buddy of mine who made the same income bought a much nicer house. I chose to go with the house with a basement that I rented out and it covered my mortgage. And my wife and I then literally went from living in a hole in the ground apartment to upstairs having three bedrooms all to ourselves. It was bigger, it was nicer. We renovated it so everything certainly felt a lot newer. The bottom line is this house made me not a little bit of money, it made me a lot of money. I bought this in 2003 for $110,000. Four years later, I custom built a 10,000 square foot home on the golf course that I lived in for 11 years and eventually sold that and in 2018, I bought this multi-million dollar dream home uh, up in the mountains, it was snowing this morning, dumped six inches last night, heaven. Just so incredibly gorgeous and beautiful. And if you look at the difference between these two houses, the only way I got to this house was by starting with this kind of house. It's not very different than this whole idea of the Tesla 2019 versus buying a slightly older model. I can still achieve the same look, but put that savings to work. You know, this is one of the things that we're not taught about money. And it is so crazy to me that in today's financial society that we're so often making dumb decisions. We're eating out every day when that money could be saved. When you're young, you're supposed to be saving your money and investing it. Not in 401ks and IRAs and stupid crap like that. I'm talking about places where you can get a serious ROI because here's what you need to know. I'm not talking about get rich quick. I'm, I didn't even do it quick. It took me five years to get to my dream. 
But most people, even if it took 20 or 30 years, it's because they're putting time on their side with better ROI. Your job is to find a more significant ROI that can actually build and do that for you. So how do you do this and how do you get those ROIs? I wrote this book, um, I've written several now. This particular book I give away for free uh, to anyone that wants it. I ask that you click the link below and cover the shipping. But when you get this book, it'll actually talk about this very first house that I bought and it'll show you then how in a short period of time I was able to afford a much nicer lifestyle and it's all because I became really expert at a very simple game of money. I learned how to get higher yields than other people were getting and with a little bit of time, it led to a much nicer lifestyle. So if you wanna get a copy of this book, I break it all down for you and I show you step by step how I build that wealth. You're also gonna to wanna to subscribe uh, because every day I come out with a brand new video designed to teach you exactly how I did this. There are people all over the world that have watched this channel that are executing the information that I share with you here are, and are literally creating better lives for themselves. And some of you might actually wanna join me live and come to one of my four day events where I give you your multi-million dollar game plan, all of the training and step by step walk you through how to build this wealth. So thank you so much for watching the video today. Get your hands on a copy of the book. Should you buy a used car or a new car? Listen, the time for buying a new car is when you have more money and you have a residual income that supports you in all of your goals and dreams. Until then, either delay gratification or get smarter with what you do with your money.